Joe Rogan and Jordan Peterson never said the word blackness or whiteness Mm -hmm. in their entire talking point, in their entire conversation. All they said was white and black, and they're very clearly talking about skin color. And it's Michael Eric Dyson who has now twisted that around black to mean blackness and white to mean whiteness. The very thing that whenever you call them out for doing, they pretend they're not. I love how he goes on CNN and he basically says, like, white people are evil and they're <laughs> fucking idiots for not acknowledging it. It's like, dude. <laughs> Look, I met Joe Rogan and spoke to him after a concert by Dave Chappelle. You're opening for Dave Chappelle, one of the blackest men in America, not because of his brown skin tone, not because of the shade of his skin, but by virtue of the ideals he promotes, the ideals with which he wrestles and the ways in which he gets it right or some would say And his life experience. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. And, and life experiences and the way in which he channels those. So that's actually a very, very telling back mm-hmm. and forth. Because Michael Eric Dyson just characterized blackness as an ideology. Mm-hmm. He said, Dave Chappelle isn't black because he's skin color. He's black because of the ideas he preaches. Mm-hmm. And then Don Lemon has to be like, don't you mean the shared live experience of black people in America? And he's like, Oh yeah, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That was a little bit of a, that was a little bit of the mask slipping there. Right. Is Michael Eric Dyson a commie? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm assuming from this conversation. Is it bad for us to call him commies? Cause I mean, it's just shorthand. But he is. I'm assuming. This right. is a very leftist conversation that he's. Yeah, but we could in. say socialist or something. Yeah, but that's true. I mean, it Kami does. can turn people off. Yeah, but it also it can makes turn us sound on. <laughs> I know, turns me on definitely. I know it does. Yeah. Let me go back for a second. Listen to how crazy this is. Deals he pro- promotes the not because of his brown skin tone, not because of the shade of his skin, but by virtue of the ideals he pro- promotes, the ideals with which he wrestles, and the ways in which he gets it right, or some would say, and wrong. his life. Ex- so, what are I'm curious. The follow up question is, what are black ideals? Yeah, Mr. They're Dyson, le- they're leftist <laughs> ideals. No, you well, nailed it. You completely nailed it. This is this is what's so insidious about this because yeah. they basically say that conservative blacks are not blacks are not black right <laughs> that's, that's what so i'm saying fucking evil what what are black ideals and what are white ideals yeah like why are we conceptualizing ideals based on skin color mr dyson because you're racist it, it is funny you were so correct to be like this is just black richard spencer talk basically yeah hugely (laughs) hugely yeah i mean even even in the white nationalist movement like they don't care if you're black they don't give a fuck as long well i don't as long as you're they there's that article no there's that article where they're like the kkk of membership has dropped so low that they've decided to bring on bring in blacks as there long you as you share the ideology, it's like, okay, it's good with me. It's go. cool with they me. Get, they can get all the Uncle Ruckuses they can handle, yes. Experiences. And, and life experiences and the way in which he channels those. Well, oh, see, it's not just life experience. It's the way in which you channel the, that life experience. Because if that right, life experience... Back. Yes. Yeah, if that life experience leads you to be a conservative if that (laughs) life experience leads you to believe that maybe you know maybe we shouldn't defund the police well Well, then you just lost your black card right i mean this is this is such an interesting interaction that happens so quickly because you have don lemon who's operating under like the old the old more liberal conceptualization which was like oh you know you can say that like there's a black group of people in america because Mm -hmm. you know all people of You know, black skin color in America had some shared historical oppression that kind of Mm -hmm. binds their culture together. Okay, that was the argument. 
And so that's the argument that, that Don Lemon's operating under. But then you have Michael Eric Dyson, who's a radical in the conversation, who's like, no, no, no. Blackness isn't about your shared history of oppression. It's about it's about your ideology and the performance you put out in the world. And apparently there's a correct way to be black and a, and a wrong way to be black. We read an excerpt from that book on critical race theory, which yes. fully articulated that in ways that were very uncomfortable. <laughs> Been, right, yeah, in, in the conversation uh, slash debate with Jangles. Yeah. Where I read that passage, I said CRT is anti-assimilation. And there's a whole long passage about how, oh, you know, the black music producer who has dreads and wears African clothing is really black. But the black guy who works at a law firm and wears a suit and a tie, well, he's sold out. Yeah, yeah. He's he's part of whiteness now. He's no longer <laughs> black. <laughs> we it's, lost him to whiteness. How? It's just so, it's, I mean... It's funny that the conversation begins with him being upset, especially in the in the previous clip that we played from the debate. Like his his anger stems from the fact that white people have characterized his community in a certain way and that they, you know, that these behave the uh these stereotypes have basically been foisted on their community by another community. And that's a point of contention for him. Right. But then he's do, turning around and doing the exact same thing, not just to whites, but to his community as well. He's basically saying, no, 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 you have to live up to this ideology. Otherwise, you're not really a part of the black community. You're not really a part of uh, blackness. <laughs> right. Well, it's a, it's like the same the exact same thing. thing. Yeah. He's both it is. angry about it <laughs> and using it on somebody else. I don't, I, how do you play <laughs> that card? How do you do that card? How do you say like, you know, this is evil for you to do, but it's just fine for me to do it. I'm so angry that I'm projecting my my own inadequacies onto you while I speak about why my own inadequacies are fine. That's it's totally so, it's crazy. It's awful. It's awful. You either shouldn't do that. And I, I mean, I would be in the camp of you probably shouldn't do that. Right. Like it's uh, when when uh whites did that historically. Yeah, it's right to call it out and say that that was an injustice, but then to turn around and voice the same injustice on black conservatives and whites is just doubly fucking evil. Well, and it's, it's really sad because the whole thing about like, Oh, if you, you know, wear a suit and tie and get, you know, and you're a lawyer that's participating in whiteness, that whole, that look, it's basically like there's a group of socialist race activists who their whole ideology is, is predicated on like, sour it's like a combination of sour grapes and like unresolved trauma (laughs) because it's basically the thought process on an unconscious level is basically oh you know white people oppress black people and for so many years black people were just wanting to be able to participate in like the game of society that white people were playing and then finally when white people were like okay you can participate on equal level in society you had a group of people who are basically like oh well, these people are so evil and bad. Why should I participate in the same game that they're participating in? Why should I behave the same way they're behaving in? Why right. is their me- you know measure of success the measure of success that I should use? And it's it's like a very like it's an understandable reaction, but it's a very childish reaction. It's a very immature reaction to reality. They say, well, just because you know a group of people or a society uh, enacted an evil against me means that once that evil has gone away i should just you know stick my my heels out and say oh, i'm gonna go my own way i'm gonna make my own path fuck you i'm gonna do the opposite of whatever you're doing yeah that's basically where we're at it's kind of bizarre because they want to even go as far as saying the entire system itself is racist like ca- literally right. just categorizing it as racism right because what's a better way to overthrow capitalism and democracy than to say that it's, it's racist? But I mean, if you if you've if you've basically at this day and age opened up the system as much as possible, obviously there are going to mm-hmm. be racists in the world, and there is going to be inequity foisted on right. other people by individuals who the, they themselves are racist. If you've opened the society up, though, as much you know, you're you're tr- basically trying to give equal opportunity regardless of race. How do you categorize that as a racist system? I just don't. Like it seems completely backwards. It is backwards. I mean, we're we're shooting 
the critique I think is important because you want to shoot for equal opportunity for everyone. You want to shoot for creating a system where, you know, everyone has the same, well, the same ability. The, the argument also doesn't make sense because they say like, Oh, you know, the reason that they say what, you know, you were saying Adam is because mm -hmm. they're trying to trick black people. Like nothing has changed. We're still mm -hmm. as racist as, you know, society still as racist as it was, you know, in the 1940s or 1950s. Mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, but if that was the case, if society was as racist as it was 60, 70, 80 years ago, why do they have, to, why would they have to lie about it? Why wouldn't they just openly be as racist as they were back then? Why do they have to, mm -hmm. why do they have to create this very complicated subterfuge system of trying to trick mm -hmm. black people and other white people into thinking that they're not racist? If, if everyone's still as racist as they were back then. Yeah. They wouldn't, obviously. You'd still have shows like All in the Family where Archie Bunker was just openly racist. Well, but even all the family, like Archie Bunker it, being openly racist is meant to be a bad thing. It's not, it's, oh, not totally. it's never shown as a positive. Yeah. Right. It'd be like having, you know, uh, <laughs> someone dress up in blackface and dance around, you know, mm -hmm. on stage and everyone goes, ha, 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 those silly black people, you know, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like they did 50, like they used 60 to, yes. years ago. Yeah, exactly. Right. No. Obviously. So Joe Rogan, you're opening up for a guy who has redefined for many people blackness in the last 15 years, and yet you're claiming not to know what blackness is. Yeah, I think that's a deliberate, willful ignorance, and it's the unintentional hilarity uh, of, of a certain kind of- They never even said, and actually, this is it. We caught him. We caught him. Adam, we caught them. We caught Michael Eric Dyson in the lie. How did I not see this before? Okay. Mm -hmm. Whenever they bring up this whiteness or blackness shit and you say, hey, you're being racist. You're saying all white people are X. And they say, I'm not talking about white people. I'm talking about whiteness. There's a mm -hmm. difference. Okay. Joe Rogan and Jordan Peterson never said the word blackness or whiteness mm -hmm. in their entire talking point, in their entire conversation. All they said was white and black. And they're very clearly talking about skin color. And it's Michael Eric Dyson who has now twisted that around black to mean blackness and white to mean whiteness. The very thing that whenever you call them out for doing, they pretend they're not. Yeah. He's doing it. He's doing it again right here, right in front of us. Wow. He is the Archie Bunker here. He is. He's totally the Archie Bunker. But there you go. He... Michael Eric Dyson accidentally gave the game away. <laughs> what the game of turning everything into blackness and whiteness as like a subterfuge for the, the racism? game of well, so the game is that they get the they get to be racist against white people. Mm -hmm. And when I say they, I mean like mm -hmm. social socialist Wokies, race activists, woke, okay. wokes, woke, yeah, per, yeah woke right. activists, right? Well, Michael I mean, Eric you Dyson, just call them racist. <laughs> I mean, when racists like Michael Eric Dyson, mm -hmm. uh, what they oh, do, the game they play. Color. That's what it is. There you go. Rocks. <laughs> yeah. Racists okay. of color. Yeah. Rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when the Michael Eric Dysons of the world play this game where they get to be super racist against white people mm -hmm. and you say, whoa, 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 you just said all white people are stupid. And he says, and he'll say in response to that, Michael Eric Dyson will say, no, I never said white people mm -hmm. are all X. I said whiteness and right. whiteness <laughs> is a system of oppression that was created to do blah 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 mm -hmm. okay so they'll keep saying they'll keep pretending like they're mm -hmm. not conflating skin color with the term of whiteness but in mm -hmm. this conversation joe rogan oh, okay. and jordan pearson you. never used the word the terms whiteness or blackness they use the terms white and black mm -hmm. so if michael eric dyson honestly believed the distinction between whiteness and white and blackness and black, he should instantly realize that because Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan are not saying whiteness or blackness, they're only talking about skin color and not these constructed of social hierarchies of oppression. Yeah. But he but he's twisted around instantly. So he gave up the game that that is the intention of these terms, whiteness and blackness, is to conflate, is to play this Mott and Bailey thing where they get to be as openly racist as possible. And then when you tack them on it, they run away to the Mott and they say, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about skin color. I'm talking about this system. No, 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 no.
not the day. Right. He's he's saying I'm not talking about white skin color. I'm talking about right. whiteness as a concept. But at the, the same system time, of he's oppression doing, that was created, right. you know, blah 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 right. blah blah. Right. We all know that's a subterfuge. We all everyone know that's knows nonsense it's bullshit. bullshit. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Everyone can see through these people's racism. They get a ROC get a race racism pass though. That's the thing. Racists of color, they can do it <laughs> indiscriminately. No, I'm also I'm laughing here. The argument that he's made because I'm, I mean the race, I get bored with these racists. They're fucking. I, it would be difficult for me to say that Michael Eric Dyson is an intelligent person. I don't fucking see mm -hmm. him as an intelligent person. I there is there have been some studies that show racism correlates with low intelligence, and I just think, okay, well, this is a racist, <laughs> and I so I just I assume. Adam, you can't call a black person stupid. Okay, that's racist. Why? I I called a racist stupid. Oh, you're right. You're right. What the there fuck? There you go. There you Did go. I not? Was I not clear when I you said? You were clear. I said. I said. You were clear. I said racism correlates with low intelligence. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, there you go. Michael doesn't Eric matter. Dyson, uh, really promoting the stereotype that racists are stupid. It so doesn't matter what skin color you are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's That's why he has racism. to use all the big words. Right. He's got to, he's got to, you know, he feels self conscious about it. So he's, his, the argument that he's making mm -hmm. is that Joe Rogan should understand the ideology of blackness because uh, blackness he, construed <laughs> by, by Marxist, by race Marxist. Should, well, no, because he opened up for Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Like and Dave Chappelle, right. like he should understand the ideology of every other comic that he fucking opens up. For. No, no, he, he's what saying, dream world are you living in here? I know. What fucking dream world are you living in here? Like, do you know how these comics roll? Like ten of them playing a night. You can't possibly know the ideology of every single motherfucker you open up for in a comedy club. Right. Well, and it's funny because I would probably guess. That Dave Chappelle does not agree with Michael Eric Dyson's oh, conception not, of blackness not at all. either. Now, are you saying that uh, Dave Chappelle in his last special said, I'm on Team Turf? What the fuck are you yeah. talking about, Michael Eric Dyson? Did you join Team Turf? Are you Apparently on Team did. Turf now, yeah. Michael Eric Dyson? I'm, please, we have to know. I think your <laughs> woke credibility is on, at stake here. Are you coming out as a turf in this interview? please right that, he is look there's don lemon he's like oh my god he just came out as, as a turf oh no well, Michael, what are you doing according to the way they do like the six degrees of separation on the on the right obviously yes. you know we yes. can do that with michael eric dyson and team turf right right Should we continue? The whiteness that refuses to own up to what it is. Because if he refuses to acknowledge my blackness, he doesn't have to confront his whiteness. <laughs> my God. I just, it's so silly. He didn't refuse to acknowledge your blackness. Okay, dude. Take a fucking chill pill. The moment he acknowledges that I am a black man, he has to confront the fact that he is a white man. And in order to deflect that and to defer that and to... Wait a minute. Yeah. I thought blackness and whiteness was not the same as saying someone is black or white. Yeah. Mr. Dyson, what happened? To defend his whiteness, he would rather uh, disappear it. Didn't he just say in the clip, though, he was white? I think he did. <laughs> In the Rogan clip, doesn't he say I'm white? I feel pretty. I feel he does. As Gore mm -hmm. Vidal said, we live in the United States of amnesia, and my brother Joe Rogan and Mr. Peterson from Dr. Peterson from Canada are parts of that. You know, United States of amnesia, the, uh, the you know the Canadian virtue and province of amnesia. This is what we're talking about: a willful, whiteful, a white disregard for the truth before them. A willful, whiteful disregard for the truth yes. in front of them. There you go. Listen, white people just disregard the truth, right? right. I'm not racist because it's really whiteness, and not white people, even though white people all have and participate in whiteness. But it's different, and it's also not racist because I said it's not. So there you go. White people, you all share the same trait that all people do that are white because of their skin color, but it's not racist and you're because you're liars, but not racist. <laughs> 
I love how he goes on CNN and he basically says, like, white people are evil and they're <laughs> fucking idiots for not acknowledging it. It's like, dude, maybe, you know, take a nap before your CNN interview or something. You're, you're talking crazy talk here. What? Listen. What's happening? Listen. Adam, I'm just saying that all white people are evil and stupid. I don't mm. understand why they won't accept that. <laughs> like, why won't they accept that? You know, yeah. that they're all lazy, and stupid, and evil. Just accept it. I don't yeah. understand. Why, why would they not accept it? I'm so confused. Why? Why is? Why does any race resist racist <laughs> stereotypes being placed on them? I'm curious I about that. I don't know. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.